Hey, welcome back. We are now going to look at the carburetors and we're going to be rebuilding those. These are incredibly robust carburetors. They will work. And once you really kind of get the hang of it, they work really kind of very well. And I've got the carburetors, the, um, the intake manifolds are attached to the carburetors, and I have the slides. These are slide carburetors. Um, they are, I think they're BHB 29s. And it is, um, slides go in the body. Um, the large face goes toward the head. And um, they're easy to take apart. They're easy to clean. And they function very well. And there is a right side carburetor and a left side carburetor. So the ones that were on this bike are, I haven't taken them apart yet, but they look like they are in very, very, very good condition. They will become very operational very shortly. And the consumable parts inside are very inexpensive. I don't think the rebuild kits are six or seven dollars. And it's um there is a built-in screen on the side where that um, where it um, um the fuel line plugs into and i think they call that like a banjo fitting or something the um um so we're going to get started on getting these going and once you've worked on these a couple times you could almost take these apart in probably 20 minutes so there are small passages inside of these as well and it is nice to be able to have an ultrasonic cleaner to be able to soak these things so that you can really get a so that they can be really, really clean inside and out. So let me get some tools and we can start taking these things apart. If you do not have an ultrasonic cleaner, it is a nice tool to have. You can get by without one. And I only use it kind of in certain instances now. I mean, it's, I know a lot of people use it to clean absolutely everything, and it's kind of interesting to do it. Um, that product, Super Clean, that I get at Walmart or at the uh, auto parts store, that just does so well. And. Those clamps that are holding the the uh, intake manifold are original clamps. Kind of expensive, too, so it's nice that they are there. So um, they're not the easiest to get off, but once you learn how to get those things off, they there's like a, a trick or a secret to everything. There are two jets in the, Well, there are two circuits. There is a run circuit, and then there is an idle circuit. So... Um, you have two different jets in here, and there's an idle jet, and there is um, a main jet. So, two different passages for each. So, we are going to be working on making sure everything is clean. So, it is, it not only will idle correctly, but when you hit the throttle, that it will accelerate. And I, um, um, They are 50 plus euro carburetors, so we need to keep that in mind. And um, so I am actually always relatively delicate with these things too. All of the parts are available, generally speaking. Um, 
the actual body parts, you can get them, but you're getting them on eBay, and they are not necessarily inexpensive. And sometimes you have to get the whole carburetor to get one part. The um, um, so even I mean it's you just saw it took like a few minutes just to get that first intake manifold off. Getting the second one off, hopefully it's going to be quicker. But you need to get them off, and we're going to in essence strip this whole thing down. And those things just get so wedged in there. And again, it has been wedged in there for probably 50 plus years. And I'm really kind of working on a tray here just to try to keep track of all the parts. And there are um, probably six or eight different parts in here. The two jets. We have a. You have a device that holds the main jet. It's called an accelerator pump, and it has, um, um, it has like a little pump fitting. It has a spring, and it has a body that holds it. Um, and. You also have an enricher tube. I don't, I don't want to call it an enricher tube, but like an enricher jet as well. I guess it does act as a jet. So now taking off the float bowl, this is a 14 millimeter wrench to take it off. There's like a little fiber gasket. And float bowl looks, I mean, for being so old, it looks okay. You've got the floats there. The little brass piece that's sticking up, that is basically the accelerator pump. I'm going to call it the accelerator pump assembly. The other little small one that's sticking up is, in essence, like, I'm going to call it like the enricher jet. I'm going to take out the, um, the float pin to take off the float. And there is a needle. A float needle in there as well. It is rubber tipped, and so I'm working on. It looks like I'm taking out. That's the idle jet that I'm pointing at right there, and that is the main jet on top of the accelerator pump. That is the enricher. I'm going to call it the enricher jet. I don't know what you would call it, but it's like an enricher jet or a choke. It acts, it acts in the same function as a choke, and I never use it. Um, I'm certain in cold climates. I'm in Florida. I'm certain, I'm certain in cold climates you would kind of need to use it. And there are some great videos on how to clean carburetors. There are some great resources. I'll probably list them on this old tractor because they have great tutorials on this old tractor. And I am, um, right now I'm just using my phone to try to take a picture of the jet to see the size of the jet. And, and just to check the overall condition of the jet. And I, um, You really want to use compressed air, and you want to use a physical means of cleaning it. You can see on my phone right there that um, I think um, I think offhand I'll post it, but I think that that it's um, um, I think the idle jet is a point four five, and I think the uh, main jet is a point one four five. So it is a small little brass fitting that has a hole in it. And I'm using my phone because it, it, it's just so tiny, the word. I mean, you need to really take a picture of it. 
and see what is going on. So, um, right now that carburetor is probably about 50% taken apart. Um, and I'm putting them in that little basket because that little basket I just throw into the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. And again, you need kind of compressed air and sometimes it's nice to have a solvent. So sometimes you can use the carb cleaner. It has like the little jet on it, but compressed air, but also a physical method of cleaning passages. I know it's hard in the carburetor because it's hard to get wires in there, but I use a, um, I have a wire brush that I will pick out a one of the strands of the wire brush. It will give me like a two inch strand of wire that is very thin, thinner than piano wire. And it gives me a method of cleaning it out. So what you see me doing right here is that I've already picked out a piece of wire for my wire brush and I'm pushing, I'm physically pushing it through the hole. And and I'm cleaning it out. I'm turning it in there. I'm twisting it because sometimes you think that it's cleaned out. You think you're using carb cleaner and you're blowing it out and you think it's all gone and it's not all gone. When you physically put a wire in there and twist it around, it is going to clean the inside of it out. So I am going to take off. The main jet is held in by like a little uh, uh, bushing. And the bushing is on the accelerator pump body. So I am working on taking that out. And the main jet is really kind of like never clogged up. If it's clogged up, I don't want to say that because I mean, I, I, just, I just did one that was crazy clogged up. And that was on my BMW, but it's, which is a similar carburetor. But it is it's such a huge hole that it's kind of hard to get blocked up but i'm going to clean it anyway there is normally a spring in that little body that i put in there and most of the time the spring is corroded that is one of the consumables the springs springs are like probably 75 cents on mg cycle and it is nice to buy a couple new jets because the jets are like a dollar a dollar 50 maybe max and um, the consumables, so when you buy a carb rebuild kit for these things, you'd probably spend $25 for both recarb, for both rebuild kits, um, a couple extra jets, and um, some springs for these. Um, if you're in a pinch and want to get it done, I've been to Ace Hardware, and they have like a huge rack of springs. And they have tiny springs too, so just get one that's kind of close. Um, why not? It is, um, uh, that spring is, um, 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 doesn't need to be a huge spring, but it is a spring that works in conjunction with the spring that is, it, you don't see it right here, but there is a top that goes on that connects to the cable, but there is a spring connecting that, that connects that is in between the um, 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 the slide and the cable. And that just provides a spring tension for the throttle. And I'm just working on taking the clamp off with some pliers. Time for that clamp to come off. This carburetor does look smashed out microphone.
and I'll see you on the next video.